Okay, there's my somewhat dusty and dirty uh, 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, and it has a burnt out bulb. All right, and, and after doing a sanity check before continuing on, there's my good light, and there's the light that's burnt out. Okay, the housing and what you need to access to change the bulb is actually way back here. And uh, in order to get to that, we need to undo this bolt, we need to remove this uh, plastic cover over the ABS module, and we need to uh, drain some of the washer fluid that has been very uh, advantageously filled here in the, uh, all the way up to the very, very top. So I'm gonna replace some of this back into the, uh, the washer fluid uh, container until we get below that, uh, that seal there, because that's actually where uh, you'll take off this neck. Okay, so I've emptied that out mostly. I wasn't able to get all the way down, so I'll lose maybe a few milliliters of uh, washer fluid onto the garage floor here. The dirty, messy, muddy garage floor. Uh, so we're gonna uh, take this bolt out and uh, use a socket for this. Now my sockets, I forgot, are out at the lake. And I don't have them, I forgot them there. So I'm gonna use uh, some vice grips here to just turn it a little bit. Mine wasn't too tight. I loosened it and then I think I can even remove it by hand. And there we go, I have it removed and I'm just gonna place it off to the side. So with the bolt removed, you can kind of uh, now pretty easily just kind of tug on this, you give it a little back and forth and it'll just pop right out from below. I'll lose a little bit of my washer fluid onto the floor. So be it. But uh, yeah, it comes out. It's just pressure fitted into that uh, reservoir down there. You can kind of, you can still see it down there. And then this cover just pops off. It's just friction fitted at this point. There. There you go. So now we can we can reach behind here, um, and you don't have to go very far. It's really just right there. It's just right here. You can put your fingers on it. Uh, there's a a long grip, and you just uh, rotate that and take that cover off. You just remove that cover there. And that will come out. And that will grant you access to where the headlight is back here. I can't really show you. Well, let me see what I can do here with the power of zoom lenses and moving light. <laughs> there we go. There okay. So yeah, you can see Sylvania. You can see the uh, the hookup for the for the uh, the light bulb right there. And what you're going to do is reach in there and you're going to excuse the sound, by the way, that's my garage heater. Uh, you're going to basically grab that and rotate it 15 degrees and it will remove where the light is, is fitted into the uh, well right there. Okay, so I fast forwarded a little bit, but essentially this bulb was in the casing back here in that uh, that hole we've been looking at and it was connected to a wire here and it was and you basically reach in there and you turn it and it pops right out and you kind of got to finagle it and and you know like this is a pretty small spot so trying to fit this in here and trying to finagle it this way and that but you get it out and then you disconnect it you get your new one uh, this was from Canadian Tire it was 12 bucks and uh, you connect it to the wire and during that point wear gloves because you don't want to touch this. If you touch this uh, you're going to ruin, uh, you can really severely lower its lifespan. Um, so you, in any event you, you, uh, you carefully uh, put it back in and again I already have it in there as you can see. There it is. Uh, and you position it in there so that it is in in this configuration. Not straight up and down like that. Jiggle it till it goes all the way in and then turn it that way and it'll be in nice and snug. It's really, I mean, I, I know this doesn't, there's no way to get a camera in there. So uh, imagine this being down there, you turn it counterclockwise, you pull it out, you put the new one on the cable, uh, you get it back in there, you put it in the same configuration and snap it that way. 
and you are rolling. So I've gone ahead and uh, again, be careful when you do this. Don't you don't want to drop this cover that covers the uh, the hole there somewhere down in there and not be able to get it. So I've got it back on there. You uh, there's there's arrows on it telling you which way to turn it. It's uh, on and covered. So after you have that on there, uh, just grab this uh, ABS module cover again and. Uh, it's gonna take some finagling, but essentially you can basically see how it's supposed to fit. You've got a cutout here, and you've got all these, uh, these, I guess, uh, metal prongs here, wires, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we'll just place it on top of that and get it on there. I'll do this off camera. Can't do it one-handed. All right, that was fairly easy. I just put it back in place. Uh, you know it's in place if this kind of rests on top of the uh, the, bra the the pole here, and this lines up. There, but before we screw that back on, we need to attach the washer fluid. Or rather, the washer fluid uh, neck here. And again, it's just a friction fit. I'll try to do this on video here. Um, so if you can just line up there, and then just slowly rotate it and push it while you rotate it. Again, sorry for the angle. It's impossible to film this perfectly, but um, yeah, once it's in, like I said, it's a friction fit, so it fits in like that. You really just line up the rest like that, and we'll re put the screw back in, and we'll be done. Uh, yeah, so I'll tighten it up with the proper tool, and it it'll be good to go. And that's really all there is to it. It's, it's really kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not impossible. I would say on this side, it is um, probably you have more room here. So the cap is right there. And I mean, it's, it's very accessible on the, on the driver's side. You can reach right in there. It's, you're far more obscure, obscured on the passenger side. So once you have the passenger side part, uh, style done, this is really, you're laughing. So there you go. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the dusty car.